important food elimination is also important. Vitamin C, very important for the uh, circulatory system. It can help magnetically attract toxicity and magnetically attract heavy metals away from, or not heavy metals, but calcium away from those deposits in the, uh, in the, uh, in the blood vessels. Vitamin E is helpful. Omega-3 fats are helpful, as well as coenzyme Q10. Magnesium, all the B vitamins, all the electrolytes are very important, LJ. Sugar control is also important for helping clear out the blood vessels. Sugar is a major mortal enemy to blood vessels. And diabetes and uh, circulatory health and cardiovascular health or deficiencies in circulatory and cardiovascular health go hand in hand. That means not eating the sugar and not eating the bread and the pasta and the potatoes, etc. And then also using chromium and vanadium, the sweeties and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which all help you metabolize sugar. Niacin, vitamin B3, super important for helping the body process sugar, as is magnesium and uh, chromium and vanadium. And then chelation, or magnetically attracting minerals out of the body can be helpful. We mentioned vitamin C, vitamin E may have some chelating effects. Selenium, your ultimate selenium, can help with chelation. There's a, one of my all-time favorite non-essential supplements, as you know if you've listened to this program, is something called N-acetylcysteine, or NAC. NAC and selenium work hand in hand, along with sulfur. And between NAC, sulfur, and your ultimate selenium, you've got a wonderful chelation complex. Now, chelation therapy, intravenous chelation therapy, or even oral chelation therapy with something called EDTA can be unbelievably important, even if you don't have problems with your blood vessels, even if you don't have circulatory problems or de deposition of plaque problems. Just for longevity and just for wellness, chelation therapy, intravenous chelation therapy is an amazingly, amazingly helpful uh, health, uh, health strategy. And I personally, I haven't done it in a long time, but as I get older, I'm sure I'll be doing chelation therapy. You can also do it orally. You don't need to go to a doctor and have it done IV. Um, selenium is chelating, as I said. Algaes can be chelating. The Fucoid Z can be chelating. And probiotics, this is one of the little known benefits of probiotics. In addition to being very helpful for the digestive system, they also have chelation properties. So, got a ton of stuff there, LJ. Lots and lots and lots of stuff you could do. Uh, last but most certainly not least, caloric restriction is a wonderful strategy for helping clear out the blood vessels. Does that help you, my man? Yes, thank you so much. Good deal. God bless you. Good luck with everything. Hope that helps. Okay, let's go to uh, Rose in Virginia. What's up, Rose? How you doing? Rosie. Mm, let me see if I hit the button the wrong way. Rose. No, it's not mine, but it's somebody else's. Yes, ma'am. I, I heard of this beautiful man. He comes from a Coptic family. That's the Egyptian uh, Christian, um, you know, Egyptian Christians, he, he was mentioning that his mom died because his uh, lungs, they got filled up with water. But I know of another case, too, that he has pneumonia. So I see both cases related. Can you explain a little bit about pneumonia and how it's, can a person overcome that? Yes, pneumonia, you want to think about the immune system. Pneumonia is an infection. It, uh, interestingly, uh, pneumonia, which, which is a cause of death, uh, it usually affects people who are already sick, people who are already uh, predisposed in one way or another. You got, uh, it's basically an infection in the lungs is what pneumonia is. The air sacs in the lungs become infected with bacteria or virus, sometimes molds, and uh, you end up with fluid accumulation. All the, all, you get just the basic inflammatory response that happens when you have arthritis just happens in your lungs. And it's bad enough when it happens in your joints if you have arthritis, but if it happens in your lungs, it can kill you. There's a, it's pretty darn common, actually, but the, the fatalities that are associated with pneumonia usually occur in older folks or people who are compromised in some way. The way you deal with pneumonia is the way you deal with any immune problem. You've got to strengthen the body's ability to take care of itself. Now, in the case of acute infections, there are antibiotics that are important, and, and I'm not a big believer in drugs, as you know, if you listen to this program, but antibiotics are an exception to that, and pain pills. Antibiotics and pain pills, although both can be abused and both can be overused, antibiotics and pain pills are certainly times when you want, to, uh, when you want pharmacological intervention. 
The way to take care of ammonia, pneumonia is to prevent it from happening in the first place, and that's to keep your immune system strong. And the best way to keep your immune system strong is to make sure you're eating correctly, make sure you're nutritionally supplementing, make sure you're staying away from sugar, and make sure you're relaxing the body. Where have you heard this before? These are the same basic things that we all have to do. Watch what we're eating. Avoiding food, food intolerances and, and food allergens, or foods that cause intolerances and foods that cause allergic reactions. Remember the immune system, the defense system that's going to be fighting the bacteria and the viruses that are causing pneumonia, that's located mostly in the digestive system. Immunity and digestion go hand in hand. Now you have some immunity in the blood and in the skin and in the lungs, but the vast majority of the immune system is going to be in the digestive system. So by controlling what you're eating, staying away from allergens, staying away from food toxins and building up the gut, preventing leaky gut syndrome with your glucogel caps and your Fucoid Z and your Biolumin Nightly Essence, making sure you're using enzymes and apple cider vinegar after meals is a must. And if you already have a pneumonia, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're getting liquid nutrition, especially liquid immune boosting supplements, vegetable juices, and chicken soup, homemade chicken soup. Jewish penicillin. They call it Jewish penicillin because it's so powerful for building the immune system. The cartilage factor specifically. Also the liquid protein helps. Make sure you're using vitamin C. It is the most powerful vitamin, immune boosting, immune boosting vitamin that there is, and high doses of it, by the way. 5,000 milligrams a day, not all at once because you'll get a little bloaty, but throughout the day. Vitamin E is very important for the lungs. It'll also support the immune system. The aforementioned, excuse me, N-acetylcysteine, selenium, and sulfur can also help with pneumonia. And then, of course, keeping your sugar intake down and supporting sugar metabolism with the B-complex with niacin, especially timed release niacin, which can be very helpful, especially if you have high blood pressure. Timed release niacin is a wonderful supplement. And then chromium and vanadium. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Make sure you're using your omega fatty acids and make sure you're using your OsteoFX. Magnesium, by the way, also has a particular, particularly important relevance when it comes to lung health. And that's not just for pneumonia, that's also for asthma or any other lung issues. And magnesium deficiency is actually one of the more common nutritional deficiencies because we don't like eating our veggies and veggies are your best source of magnesium. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks so much for, for your call, Rose. And uh, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Tomorrow we'll continue talking the stress response and how the stress response can be mitigated and softened using nutrition and nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies. And then we'll tell you about a couple over-the-counter OTC hormone strategies that you can use as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth products, including Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. Bye for now.